reporting to you live from BC Place in Vancouver to watch GFC face the Whitecaps. It's live from last week, episode 72. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, waking up after this much sleep, which I would definitely call it just a nap, and getting on the stationary bike to have some exercise for over an hour, I am now here near my hometown in downtown Oshawa, which, by the way, I haven't ventured in this area for a while. But honestly, looking around, I love what you guys have done with this place. But yeah, before it starts raining, we're gonna quickly head back indoors. And after not being able to avoid the rain while riding back to the condo, I am back in Scarborough to tell you guys the real reason why I was near my hometown. My parents told me that after calling all the pharmacies in the Durham region, they found out that the rapid antigen tests everywhere were out of stock. So last week, I decided to visit some pharmacies in the area that did have some stock and bring some of those tests to their house in the morning. But though, when I arrived home and tried to video call them, I found out that nobody was home. So I decided to leave the rapid antigen tests in their mailbox. But once I was about to leave, guess who I heard calling my name from afar while they're doing their morning walk. Hey dad. Hey mom. I left you guys some presents uh, in the mailbox. Oh. I just wanted to stop by and say hi and say that I dropped off uh, some presents for you. Yeah. Okay? Afterwards, I went to visit a place in the area that, as you guys can see in these videos, I haven't visited since about a year ago. The famous Arby's in North Oshawa, where I was able to enjoy this delicious bacon cheddar sandwich. Bacon cheddar curly fries, bacon cheddar curly fries. Just a quick shout out to my beach volleyball buddy, Rob Lee, who always makes Arby's a mandatory stop whenever he's in the Oshawa area. Cheers, bud. And once I got home and dried myself up from being out riding in the rain for about an hour, I was able to enjoy my Arby's Greek gyro and my favorite, their Greek gyro curly fries. Oh my gosh, these curly fries are so good. <laughs> I forgot how good these guys taste. Moving on, do you guys remember this scene from last week's episode when I asked the wife out on a formal date? Next Tuesday, sure. may I please take you out on a date? Sure. On a formal date? Tuesday next week? Yeah. Yeah, what time? I don't know, evening. Oh, I'm okay. Yay! Well, tonight I was supposed to surprise her with a one-of-a-kind date. Buying two tickets a month ago to go to the opera La Traviata at the Four Seasons Center of Performing Arts in downtown Toronto. But unfortunately, she's still feeling under the weather. So I had to get a couple of friends to take the tickets and go instead of us. And as much as we would have enjoyed the show tonight, I'm hoping that our friends will have a great time at the opera for us. Anyways, enough of that bad news. Let's go on to some good news in the form of birthday greetings. First, we have a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball buddies who always amazes me with his quickness and skills on the courts of Ash Bridges. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. Next birthday shout out goes out to one of my fellow travelers who I met and toured around Iceland in a group when we had that 30 hour layover adventure when our flights were delayed. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Vicky. Happy birthday, Vicky. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood classmates who would dominate at Red Butt at recess and who showed me how to throw a circle change up. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Brock. Happy birthday, Brock. And last but not least, we've got a birthday greeting to one of my favorite coworkers with whom I remember partying with during the start of our careers and her Hello Kitty birthday cake back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Recalling that Facebook Marketplace purchase that I made last week, I just wanted to put this baby on. Make a Chewbacca sound. 
And wish everybody out there a happy Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Today also marks the day when Live Nation put out their promotion of $25 concert tickets. So for a limited time for concert week between May 4th and May 10th, and while supplies last, concert tickets are being sold for only 25 bucks with taxes and fees included. And luckily for me this morning, I was able to secure a pair of tickets to the Halsey concert in June, as well as a set of tickets to the Alicia Keys concert in August, both at the Budweiser stage. So yeah guys, hit me up or leave a comment in the comment section below if any of you have taken advantage of this offer, which concerts you got tickets to, or if you'll be going to the same concerts that I'll be going to this summer. But moving on, since I've been asymptomatic for any COVID symptoms, as well as testing negative in my time in self-isolation away from work, which work tells me I have to do every single day for the next 10 days so that I don't bring anything back to the workplace, my work has cleared me to go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight. But before I do, I have a couple of Star Wars birthday greetings to send out to y'all. The first one going out to one of my sister's old roommates who I used to party with back when they were living at Wysig. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Fiona. Happy birthday, Fiona. The next one going out to one of my childhood friends with whom I used to go to dance school with and act with in a play of The Wizard of Oz when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my great co-workers with whom I always do this handshake whenever I see her and who always greets me happy half birthday on my half birthday. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Amanda. Happy birthday, Amanda. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that has their birthday on my half birthday are staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great birthday slash Star Wars day for your birthdays this year. Today being May 5th, I just want to wish everybody out there a happy Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, Cinco de Mayo. And in honor of this day, I searched out for some deals on burritos that usually happen on this day. And so while searching online, I saw that today Quesada restaurants have some deals for $5 burritos. Well actually $5.99, but it's close enough. So this afternoon I went to my local Quesada restaurant and got a couple of burritos to enjoy on this day. And of course, I had to take my patented yearly Cinco de Mayo picture. Featuring a play on words with my kitchen sink and a jar of mayo. But also, another reason why we picked up some food today is that last night before going into work, I decided to make some ribs. But unfortunately, when I went to try to work the oven, I pushed the temperature button a little bit too hard and the button stopped working. Meaning, instead of being able to cook ribs at a temperature of 375, the dial was stuck at 350, and that was the only temperature that I was able to cook my ribs at. So, when I informed the wife of this, she gently let me know that the oven was telling us that it was time to finally replace it. The wife also let me know that for some time, she has been researching online for some new stove and oven combos. And although they're a little bit pricey, she told me that in order to buy a new oven, we just might be able to dip into the monetary fund of the gifts that we got for our wedding. So guys, keep on the lookout for a future Live From Last Week episode where we may be getting a new kitchen appliance. But anyways, today, after doing an hour-long stationary bike session and doing my daily COVID-19 rapid antigen tests at home, check it out, negative again. I'm going in for my second of my three night shifts tonight. But before I do, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my Wysik friends out there, who I'm remembering was a vibrant person and is also a fellow YouTuber. Today's birthday shout out goes out to you, Alana. Happy birthday, Alana. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great birthday on Cinco de Mayo this year. After work this morning, I looked at my baby Rouge, and after driving her around for the past couple of days, she complained that she was starving. So I took her with me to the local gas station with the minimal gas that I had left in the tank and treated her out to some breakfast for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode over a year ago, where I actually set a record high for filling her up on a full tank. But yeah, it was to my surprise this morning when I got to the gas station and saw that the gas prices for regular is almost $1.95 
per liter. So it was safe to say that this morning, I set a record high at $16.25 for a fill up on my Baby Rouge. Which is crazy because gas prices right now are almost one and a half times as they were almost a year ago. But moving on, I also wanted to point out this big mistake that I had today. If you guys caught last week's Live From Last Week episode, you probably noticed that during my editing, the intro to Live From Last Week did not upload. So in the panic of editing that episode and trying to upload a new file to YouTube, unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the whole file for that Live From Last Week episode, episode 71. And as frustrated as I was, still having to do my daily COVID swab test, which luckily still turned out negative, and had to make time to make dinner with this new HelloFresh dinner kit. Luckily, while dealing with this crisis that I was having, I can't take credit for making dinner by myself because the wife pulled through and helped me make dinner while I was having a meltdown. Anyways, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, we just have one quick birthday shout out. With this birthday greeting going out to one of my FCAR architecture friends. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yuli. Happy birthday, Yuli. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. This morning after my night shift, since I'll be away for Mother's Day weekend, I decided to go to a local store with my motorcycle, buying a bouquet of flowers and some chocolates, and deciding to deliver them on my wrist on my motorcycle, just like this. I made my way to the Saga family's place to set up this gift for my mother-in-law for an early Mother's Day present. Which, as you guys can tell by this Facebook post, it looks like she really appreciated it. But yeah, after making the one hour trek back home to Scarborough, sleeping for about this much this afternoon, I'm recalling a couple weeks ago when I told you guys about this offer, I got an email from Flair Airlines saying that they had a 75% off sale. I booked myself a ticket to go to Vancouver in early May. And it looks like I'm cashing it in today. Cause right now, if you guys can tell in the background, I'm at Pearson Airport, ready for a quick weekend trip in Vancouver. So yeah guys, at this time, it's time to catch my plane and I'll see y'all in Van City. And after a five hour flight, arriving in YVR and revisiting a couple of these memorable statues and monuments here at the airport, of which I took note of in previous videos, we are finally in Vancouver, set to take the train back downtown. So we made it downtown in front of Waterfront Station. But first, let's see how my daily rapid antigen test did earlier today. And of course, negative. For five days in a row. And now we're headed to the Camby Hostel in Gastown to check in and settle for the night. Good morning, beautiful Vancouver. So last night after I checked into the Gastown Canby Hostel, I noticed that there are a couple of signs here and there. Signs that said, please don't let Oreo out. So I was thinking maybe there's a resident cat at the hostel and this cat's name is Oreo. And the one thing is once I took my key and opened the door to get into my hostel room, some furry black and white creature crawled through my legs and into the room. So I don't know if you can tell by this video, but the black and white spots in this video is the cat named Oreo, which I was frantically trying to get out of the room, but the cat just stuck in one place and chilled in the corner of the bedroom. So this morning, after I took a quick four hour nap, waking up early because my body is used to the Eastern Standard Time time zone, I went out and tried to hunt and search down this cat. So after making sure that the cat was safe and sound, and finally, outside of my hostel room, I showered up and now I'm making my way to Sunday Mass at a local Catholic church that I visited on one of my last times here. The Cathedral of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Now after spending Sunday Mass in this beautiful church, I realized something unique on how they conducted communion over here. So usually during church, when it's time to receive the host, the celebrants line up in the aisle and the priest hands each one of them communion in their hands. But over in this mass, I noticed that when the celebrants lined up, when they received communion, there are actually pews at the front of the church, which is where everybody kneels down, and that's where the priest hands them their communion. 
But anyways, after celebrating Mass today, I've realized that we're also actually celebrating Mother's Day today. So at this time, I just have a quick Mother's Day shout out to my mom, whose youthful looks and youthful energy is very inspiring to me. And I'm just hoping that I'll have just as much youthful energy that she has in the future. So yeah, anyways, Happy Mother's Day to you, Mom. I love you. And Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there in the world. And while we're on the topic of celebrations, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting with a friend at Wysik who is also a CA with me at our time there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Bethany. Happy birthday, Bethany. And my next birthday greeting of the day goes out to one of my old roommates with whom I've spent time playing basketball with at Mouse Park and our night adventures through the Toronto Path when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jeffers. Happy birthday, Jeffers. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Next on the docket, I went to Vancouver's beautiful Chinatown district, where I went to the famous and tourist-friendly Dr. Sun Yat-sun Chinese Garden, where I was able to take a complimentary tour showing us this lovely miniature park of an area outlining different Chinese structures and architecture as well as aspects of yin and yang all over the place. And also, on my way in, I got to see all these little ducklings feasting on their breakfast while being watched by their mother duck. But beforehand, I did the ritual that the wife and I usually do while we're here in Vancouver. And that is to go to the local TNT supermarket, check out the discount bin, and come away with some pork buns on sale and a nice little sandwich and enjoy it while I'm here at the International Center. But speaking of that sandwich, I broke it out as a pre-game meal, eating it while walking to the stadium. Because one of the main reasons why I'm actually here in Vancouver is that for the first time in a long time, probably since 2008-2009 when I went with a couple of buddies down to Chicago to see TFC versus a Chicago Fire game, I'm doing some Toronto FC travel tourism, ending up here at the beautiful BC Place to watch Toronto FC take on the Whitecaps here in Vancouver. Being a solar traveler flying across the country for a TFC game, I met a random solo traveler too. How's it going? My name's Tom. I used to live in Toronto, now I live in Vancouver. Love TFC. 
you know, three games in a week, you know, quite tough. Uh, I'll take a draw. So I'm going to say 1-1. One, 1-1? One. One, one? All right, man. You heard it here first from Tom. 1-1. One, one. Let's go TFC. So although it was a great time meeting Tom, another solo TFC traveler, unfortunately, his prediction for the game, TFC, couldn't get it right. Losing a close game in typical TFC way in the last minute. But enough of the sad news. Let's see what else we got in store for you guys today. Now after walking through downtown Vancouver and making use out of this nice, beautiful, sunny day, hitting up several points of interest that I have visited in the past, like this one, and this one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one, I went back to the hostel to try to take a quick nap, then off to yet another TNT supermarket to buy a Mother's Day special sushi tray, which I am very excited to eat in fact and make our way on the transit catching this beautiful sunset ending up at a place that we passed by on my way here last night and that is the Richmond Night Market and I'm sorry in advance guys but y'all have to wait until next week's episode to see the music video from the Richmond Night Market so stay tuned for that so we're starting off our third day in Vancouver with a visit to the Gas Town Steam Clock That's it. And after seeing a couple of lucky bunnies on the way to the night market last night and randomly running into a fellow Torontonian there. Hey guys, so at the Richmond night market, I randomly ran into another Torontonian. Hi! I'm Bea. All right. I'm from Toronto. All right, so Bea took this crazy photo of me that I'm gonna use for my new profile picture. Ooh, so yeah. Um, thanks a lot, Bea. It's time to venture out into Vancouver and figure out just what I'm about to do today. But before I do all that, we have some great news to tell you guys about. I was just on a video call with the wife who, if you guys can tell, has just passed her G2 driving license test slash exam. So congratulations wife for hitting that milestone in your life. And when I get back to Toronto, I'm really looking forward to you driving me around in the mini. Continuing on, today we're going to tour around Van City with these babies. The Moby Bike Share. So similar to the Toronto Bike Share bikes, but a little bit more expensive in terms of daily price, in terms of daily use. These bikes, as you can see, are 7 speed. And because the laws in Vancouver require you to ride with a helmet at all times, some of these bikes include a free helmet rental as well. Another cool feature about these bikes is that it includes a bike lock on it and when not attending it, you can lock it. So let's go rent one of these bikes and get to Turin, Van City, for the day. Sorry for cutting that segment short guys, but today's bike adventure all day is just too long to fit into this episode. So tune in to next week's episode to see the finished product of how my day went riding around Vancouver with my Moby bike. But anyways, after spending the whole day touring around Vancouver, I'm just chilling at Sunset Beach, watching some beach volleyball, some skateboarding in the background, as some pickup soccer not too far from here. As well, to wrap up this week's episode, I'm gonna try to catch the sunset at Sunset Beach. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.